for three and four, we're looking at uh, using the formula for area of a triangle. Uh, understand our base is the necessary. It has to be a bo at the bottom. Please just remember that your base has to be perpendicular to the height. So even though this is the bottom, our base is over here, the 9.6. This is our base. Because I see that, bo that box and it's telling me this is my height. So they have to be perpendicular to each other. So we're not using 6.6 .6 on here for our base. We are using um, the 9.6. Just got to say base perpendicular to height always. All right, so this one just plug it in, plug it in. All right, we got the base, which is our 9.6 times our height, which is 6. Make sure you recognize that in this formula, the area of a triangle is based on height divided by 2. So we do have to do some division here. You could, if you want to, go ahead and simplify 6 divided by 2 and get the 3. Or you can go ahead and multiply them together and then divide at the end. So if I, this is me dividing first. If I didn't, some of you might have went ahead and did the 9.6 and the 6 together. That's going to give us a decimal of 57.6 at the top, but then you have to divide by 2. So either way is right. Just make sure you show your work. And then when we divide by 2 or we multiply by 3 because we already divided by 3, by two, this area was 28.3. So check your work. You should be checking to see if you get the same answer. Uh, see if you do the same method to solve. All right, so on this one, again, we're going to have to work backwards because we're trying to find the base. That's what's missing. When I figure out my, air, my formula, which is base times height divided by 2, label my parts. I know this is my height because there's that box that's perpendicular. This would have to be the base. So that's to be perpendicular to that height, and that's what's missing. So the 7.9, that is what the area equals to. So I'm substituting that back in for A, and then I'm going to work backwards. So I'm going to talk about two ways to do this, because some of you were discussing this in class today. So if I put my 7.9 in, and B is what I'm trying to find, I'm going to use parentheses to show multiplication. 4.9 is my height, and divide by 2. Now, because I want to solve for B, algebraically, if I do inverse operations, I can get to my answers too. So you could just inverse the division, and some of y'all did that today. So instead of just dividing the by 2 first, multiply both sides by 2. That would cancel out the division on the right. This would make this 2 times 7.9 would be 35.8, and that would give me 4.9B. So to get the B by itself back to what we were doing earlier, now we're going to divide by 4.9 on both sides. So B would get by itself, and we get, so we're going to have to round on this. And I probably should have put the calculator up here. But you're going to get, I think it's 7.301. So it's just going to be, because they want us to round to the nearest tent, 7.3. Yeah, so it's round to the nearest tent up here. So some of you might have worked it out. I'm just going to show another way. So here I had the 17.9 equals the B times 4.9 divided by 2. Start off with the correct formula, and you could go ahead and simplify that, which is fine. Divide your 4.9. So we got 17.9 equals 2.45B. Now, I just switched the, the two uh, terms. It's fine. doesn't matter. I could have wrote B, then 2.5 doesn't change anything. All right, just want you to know that. And then to solve for B, we're dividing by 2.45. And then, there's my decimal. B would equal the same thing, 7.3. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not going to say you have to do it one way. You just got to do whatever way you have to do it correctly. Okay, so that takes care of area of triangles. Thank you for that.